Hey, how's it going, guys? CJ Bether here, uh, quarterback for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Um, this room right here is, you know, pretty much where we start every day, whether it's a workout, practice, or whatever we're doing. We walk in this entrance right here. If you look over to the right right here, is the timeline of all the rich history dating back to 1889, um, all the way to present times. And, and you see over there, there's a, there's a bunch of free space over there because, you know, that's a history in the making. We're trying to make history each and every day, each and every year. And if you keep walking, you, you look up here, and this, this is our trophy case up here. Um, this is where we keep all our, our bowl trophies and uh, Big Ten trophies. Right now we don't have our Big Ten trophies in, um, but all 11 Big Ten trophies will be coming and they will be put up here. This is kind of what, what motivates you. All these trophies, you just, each day you're working to get more trophies and Big Ten championships, so that's what we're working towards. So, If you keep walking up here, there's uh, three of the most import, important historic uh, players to ever play uh, at Iowa. First we have Cal Jones, he was in the Outland Trophy winner. His number is retired, number 62. We got uh, historic Niall Kinnick. I think everybody knows who Niall Kinnick is. The stadium's named after him. He's the only Heisman Trophy winner in uh, Iowa football history. His number is also retired, number 24. Then we got Duke Slater. Duke Slater um, was the first African American to be inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. Alright, here at Iowa we have uh, 14 national award winners and right here are uh, the trophies that they, they have won and most re recent uh, is Brandon Sheriff with the Outland Trophy winner for 2014. Um, that sits right here, all these trophies. And then uh, right here is, is a bunch of history about uh, Kinnick, you know, lets you, you see what the game day environment is like. Um, it, it's, a, it's a great environment on game day. Um, the fan, we have the best fans in the country. And if you look over here, you just got a great view of the actual stadium up here. This is a press box. Um, you can't see the field per se, but um, you know it's just it's just a great environment on game day Saturdays. We keep walking right here. It's just uh, the Hall of Fame coaches, um, Hayden Fry and Forrest Evashevsky. Um, this is just kind of about them and uh, you know all the all the things that they, they did here for this uh, Iowa football program. All right, guys, you follow me. We're gonna walk in here into the uh, Consensus All-American Room. At Iowa, we have 24 Consensus All-Americans, um, and their pictures are up on the wall in here, and this is, this is what this room was uh, made for. But, uh, you know, more importantly right now, uh, all our team meals are in here. We get catered food, and they bring it, and, and, you know, we eat as a family. We get our food, sit down and eat. We got the TVs over there so we can watch games, and ESPN, anything we want to watch, we watch that during our meals. We get great food here. Um, you know, Coach Bill and, and the coaches, uh, you know, want us to have the best kind of food that we can get, and, that, and you know, that's what they do. Um, also, this room is used for uh, media purposes, for press conferences, and also uh, recruiting functions. So we'll, we'll be in here and you know have recruits in here, and we'll set it up. Uh, there's a screen that comes down. We'll have highlights playing. You know, it's a it's a good recruiting room too. All right, guys, you follow me. We'll be uh, entering the uh, private part of the facility. Everything that you've seen so far is uh, you know open to the public. The public can be in here, but um, you know beyond these doors and around the corner over there. Uh, it's more private, only players and coaches, uh, personnel can get back here. Obviously, uh, it's a key scan thing that only uh, football players and coaches have the ability to get into. All right, guys, around this corner is um, all of our bowl history. Here at Iowa, we've, uh, we've made 28 bowl appearances, uh, including Orange Bowls, uh, Rose Bowls, multiple Orange Bowls, multiple Rose Bowls, and uh, multiple BCS uh, games and wins. And over here on this wall, you'll see uh, it's one of the, one of the greatest moments in you know Iowa football history. This is when uh, you know Iowa we took down number three uh, ranked Penn State. They were uh, number three in the country, and we took them down. The, everyone stormed the field. The student section stormed the field. It was a great electric moment in uh, Kinnick Stadium. Hoping to make more of these uh, memories and moments in the future. Hi, my name is Maurice Fleming. I play cornerback for the University of Iowa Hawkeyes, and I'm getting ready to show you the guys' Hawkeye Player Lounge. Coming in, we have the Hawkeye Swarm, which is us as a team, you know, coming together. The crowd gets us wild, we hold hands, and we run out there with Coach Ferentz before the game. Right here, we have the ping pong table. It gets competitive, and you know, we just have fun. Uh, while we're wasting time for like meetings or classrooms. Uh, in the middle, we have the pool table uh, as well. It gets competitive, we have fun. I mean, you know, we just like to compete. In the back, the two shuffle boards, the two TVs right here, which I, what you see, we got, you know, movies, 
uh, ESPN pretty much is what we have here. We got the nice seats with the couches. Uh, in the middle, which is four big TVs. Uh, right here to the left, we have ESPN again. Um, over here in the back, we have our Hawkeye schedule, which lets us know like what we have to do and what time we have to be there because it's all about being on time. We don't cut slack. And the two TVs right here are the best TVs in the, in the player lounge. We got PS4 and then we got Xbox One. A little bit of Halo, a little bit of Madden. You can't go wrong. And I mean, just starting off right here, this is a nice scenery, a night game, you know, black and gold game. As you can see us in the bottom of the stadium, we're running, holding hands, doing a swarm with the band playing in the crowd and just getting ready to win that game. Back here, which we have four computers and a printer. Um, you're allowed to do, you know, homework, print out your homework. You can study back here, you know, just have a good time. Waste time, you know, get on YouTube. I mean, just do anything, Big Ten Network, anything you're interested in, you know, just have fun doing that. All uh, right, right here we have, you know, this beautiful long hallway. I mean, look at the distance. I mean, starting from right here, we have week one versus Illinois State, and it goes all the way down to our opponents who we play. And right here, we have the Academic All-American, which goes to the Academic All-Big as well. I mean, once you're here and you make a name for yourself, you're going to be on the wall, and people are going to know who you are down as far as history goes. And also down here, you have the weight room. Walking into the big, uh, the defensive backs classroom. On this wall here, this is all the guys that, I mean, that have been remembered. You have like uh, guys like Micah Hyde, who just played for the Green Bay Packers. You have Bob Sanders, uh, Sean Prater. Uh, you also have Craig Clemens. These are the greats in the, that, that have played for this program. And you know, one day, hopefully, I, uh, I expect to be on there. And you also have the list, like first team, all American, second team, you got all big, first team, all big, second team, you got Hawkeye captains and award winners. And I mean, we go by the phrase in this classroom, preparing to be the best. And preparing to be the best means, you know, you gotta have hard work, you gotta be dedicated, and you gotta overcome the, uh, adversity. So right here, we got, you know, the nice little seats, they roll out, nice tables, everything right here. You got the big projector where we watch film, which is lovely, you know, dealing with Coach Parker. I mean, this is my seat. I sit sit next right to the lovely uh, Jordan Lomax, you know, gives me all the game plan so we can be ready to make plays and create turnovers. All right, so right here, this is the NFL wall. I mean, I mean, big notoriety. I mean, we just, you know, like to show uh, thanks and, you know, just, Give, just notify like the players that, are, that have played in the NFL for Coach Ferentz and for the program. And I mean, right here you have the AFC gloves. And, I mean, right here, over there is the NFC gloves. But right here, uh, special out for the eyes, you have like the, uh, the stickers. You have uh, Brian Balaga, like he was a first rounder. So each yellow sticker notifies the guy that he's been in the first round. Right here is the NFC, you know, my, my hometown, Chicago Bears, which I love, love them to death. Uh, you have, you know, some of the current guys over here. You have CJ, uh, you have Micah again. Uh, once again, you got Christian Kirksey and my boy uh, Hitchens and Mike Daniels and Adrian Claiborne. Again, Riley Reef. You know, th uh, this wall, it still, you know, goes along with the NFL. It just lets you know uh, all the first rounders, uh, who's been to the Super Bowl under the program which is, we have two of those, and we have also Pro Bowls. Out here, you know, this is kind of like, you know, some, somewhat similar to the Skybox. I mean, you could just see the practice field, which is a lovely scenery. You have, you know, the tables, and you have, you know, the couches as well, just to, you know, come out and watch practice. Uh, it could be like parents, you know, family members, anybody that could come out, come up here and watch. Coming back around, getting ready to show you guys the team room. Right here is the team room, and this is where Coach Ferentz, you know, gets the offense and defense. This is the defensive side, this is the offensive side, and we meet up before we, you know, split into teams. And right here, when we split into teams, you know, we have the big wall just, you know, slide down, and it's, you know, soundproof, so you don't hear a thing what the offense is saying, and the uh, offense doesn't have to cheat, you just listen to, listen to our uh, calls. Uh, right here, you know, Coach Parker just gives us 
you know, our daily plan and, uh, you know, just tells us what we have to, you know, do better on. Otherwise than that, I mean, it's, it's just lovely here. What's up, guys? My name is Jordan Lomax. I'm number 27, defensive back for the Iowa Hawkeyes. And today, I'll be also showing you a little bit of our facility. Uh, right now, where I'm at, I'm in the hallway. Uh, here, we have our small lockers. So when we come in, we put our laundry in, the laundry chutes, and we get it back in our small lockers. Um, Greg will hand us back our, our equipment, whatever we worked out in. And also, along the walls, we have our program highlights of some of our Big Ten championships down there. And then we have 24 consensus All-Americans and it continues to go all the way down to over 200 all Big Ten first team players. To my left, we have our strength and conditioning news and events board. Keeps us all intact and know where we have to be at what time. Uh, have our meal schedules, uh, our practice times, uh, any performance records, if anybody's breaking any uh, performance records. And we also have our mission statement from the University of Iowa. And here to my right, we have our away uniforms that we wear and we keep coming down. We have a more cases where our helmets that we wear from throwback games to um, home and away games. We have different uh, helmet styles and combinations that we wear throughout my career here. And also to the left of that trophy case, we have our, our home, our home um, or uniforms that we wear. And also behind me is, this is new, this is our signature board. So your last practice ever playing in the University of Iowa, you can come here, sign your name on this wall, and it will forever be up in this building. And that'll be a great, part of tradition and history in uh, University of Iowa football. And now I would like to take you guys into our football locker room. As you can see up up top, we have TVs everywhere. It's usually on Sports Center. Just keep us in tune, something to look at while we're in here, just uh, talking with each other. And also, um, up along the walls, we have um, our away and home games. Uh, they're all wins for us, and they were all pretty huge wins and they just have great significance to our program. And along the walls, you see we have players with also the specific characteristics that embody the Iowa football player, which is physical, smart, tough. And, and if you look closely along the lockers, you'll see that each locker has a quote on it. And usually we, have, we get a weekly quote or we'll get it daily. And it's just something to help us get through our day, help us to want to go attack our workout. And it just gives us a sense of motivation just to keep on working hard. And here is my locker right here. And our lockers each, we have our number, our name, we have our city where we're from and our high school. And it's nice, high tech and secure. So you enter your code in, opens right up for you. And pretty much you store whatever you need in your locker. And the cool things about our locker is also we have a nice little cubby hole where we can charge our iPads. You can charge your, you can charge your iPad when you get here. Nice little charger phone, anything you need, anything you need to charge up, you can charge it up here, put it in this little cubby hole, lock it back and secure. You don't have to worry about anything. Leave your phone, your wallet, and everything is all secure. All right, next I'll take you guys through cold tubs and hot tubs. This is also located in the player's locker room, which is pretty convenient. Don't gotta go too far at all. Next, through this door, we have our cold tub and our hot tub. And you can either switch and make them both hot or cold within 40 minutes. Like I said, this is our cold tub and our hot tub area. You come in here, recover from a hard workout. And while you're doing that, you can also turn on the TV, you can watch TV. And also we got speakers in here. So if you want to come in and put your music, you can uh, listen to it on the speakers. All right, yeah, so you can access our training room through here. Here we have our workout, our rehab pool where you can come in and uh, our trainers will have you rehabbing, doing whatever exercises you need to do to help you get back on the field faster. And as you can see, it's nice and spacious. The water is warm, so you don't have to worry about getting in a cold pool. And as you see, uh, see-through wall here, you can see all of our, our training room facility. Here's our training room area. You can come and get your angles taped. We have the latest ultrasound and stem machines. Um, it's a good rehab, help you get back faster on the field. And here, as you can see, we got a nice little rehab facility set up for it. We got training bikes, we got uh, dumbbells lifting, we got we got uh, step up boxes, we got um, squat areas, and then we just got a nice place where you can roll out, get stretched out. And once again, we have more TVs. Just want you to feel relaxed and comfortable. And it's just a nice area set up. And here's our trainer's offices come in 
They're always here for us and they're always ready to help you work and get back on the field as fast as possible. My name is Austin Blythe. I'm a senior offensive lineman from Moynesburg, Iowa, and today I'm going to take you through the weight room. Right here we got some drinks. Um, you know, we can walk through right, right in the hallway and open up the doors, grab anything we want. There's some yogurt, protein drinks in here, and uh, right now I'll take you through. All right, so in here is where the work gets done. Um, this weight room is actually 22,000 square feet, um, two and a half, almost three times as big as the old one. Um, and here we've got more drinks. Um, big thing, a big thing for this one. Uh, it's a brand new nutrition nutrition uh, bar. We got interns in here making nutritional shakes and everything like that for uh, us to take as we're walking out of the weight room. They're just got stacks and stacks of uh, protein drinks when we're ready to be done. So you come in here. Uh, these racks, almost everybody has an individual rack to themselves, um, which, whereas in the old weight room you could have like two, three, four guys stacked up on each uh, platform, so it's really nice to have as many as we do now. And uh, you know, um, we, couldn't be, we couldn't get better and you know, develop as a, a football player without the strength, ca strength staff and a strength coach like Coach Doyle. Um, you know, he does a great job uh, working with us and developing us as players. Um, and then up above we've got some uh, graphics of guys who have won national awards. Um, that doesn't get done again without Coach Doyle and his strength staff. Um, and then up there, you've got kind of a viewing room of you know people up there. They can walk through and they can look down and see us working out. Right now, uh, what's really convenient about this weight room is we can walk out these sliding doors. They're automatic right into the uh, end door. Um, this is where we do our speed work, um, any conditioning drills, anything like that. So it's really convenient, not having to switch shoes not having to go out and into the weather if it's, uh, you know, during the winter, if it's raining, uh, you know, you can, you can stay inside and uh, just go right on out here to get your work done. What's unique about this indoor is that this surface is actually the same exact surface that we use uh, over in Kinnick Stadium. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's good for us to be able to come into practice on this because that's what we're going to be practicing or playing on every Saturday. And, uh, you know, what's interesting or what's going to be cool about uh, the next couple months in here is on this west wall, we're going to have um, banners with our Big Ten championships and then on the east wall we're going to have our previous and past bowl, ga bowl games and then as we walk down to that end on the north side there's going to be an American, American, a big American flag and then an Iowa flag and some swarm photos and uh, that, for me as a player that's going to be cool just because when you walk out those doors down there uh, we go out to our uh, pra outdoor practice fields and uh, being able to go under that, go through that and see that every day is going to be special as an Iowa Hawkeye football player. All right, that concludes our tour for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. Go Hawks.